This is an Odner adding machine. The model name is written on the front. Here it says model H11C7 and the serial number here. It's a pretty standard machine. The controls are very similar to any other standard machine, uh, adding machine of this time. And uh, yeah, you simply uh, enter a number with these digits, keys, and this uh, indicator here shows you how many digits you've entered so far. And then you can pull the handle to add that number to the internal register. It will print that number as well. If you then enter another number and pull the handle, it gets added on to the inter internal register. And you can then print the uh, total or subtotal using this button. It has a diamond shape at the top here. And if you push down on that, then you can print the subtotal. So that shows you what's in the register without clearing it. I can con then continue to add further numbers. To print the total, I push on this side, on the asterisk, and pull the handle. And that prints the total with an asterisk at the end, and also clears the internal register. So now I can start a new addition. It also subtracts using this button. You can push this upwards to uh, enter subtraction mode. And the numbers that is subtracted is printed in red with a minus sign at the end. The minus button does return to, uh, to normal, so you if you want to subtract even more, you have to push this minus sign button again. I'll uh, show the uh, subtotal, there we go. If you subtract uh, something large so that it uh, becomes negative, then the subtotal or total will also be printed in red with the diamond or asterisk at the end and a minus sign as well. And let me do the total. There we go. So now it's cleared the internal register and I can start a new uh, calculation. It can do some simple multiplication. If you enter a number and then push this button down, the R button, it is now in repeat mode. So when I pull the handle, it adds it as normal, but it doesn't clear the input. So that number stays on the input and I can pull the handle again for uh, another addition of that same number. I've added it three times now, so I've multiplied it by three. I can still append another digit, especially a zero, essentially shifting that number to the left. And if I then pull the handle, it adds that number in the tens position, essentially. So I can uh, now add it twice in that position making it a uh, multiplication by 23. Ah, I can't print the total right now. This button is stuck. That's because there is still input in the keyboard. So you have to explicitly clear that before you can print the total. And you clear that by pushing this button upwards. And now I can uh, select the total and print it. It has uh, 10 digits of input. But the register itself is 11 digits, so it can handle a bit of overflow there. So it's a fairly straightforward, a simple adding machine. I can lift off this cap and get access to the ink ribbon. 
the uh, the paper is uh, also easily uh, easily replaced it has this little metal guard here so that the uh, printout doesn't interfere and get tangled up with the input roll on the back it says original Odner and a label from the uh, uh, office, office supply company. You may have noticed that uh, the machine is a little bit wonky. There are, is a big gap here at the keyboard and that's basically because the whole internal mechanism uh, it should float on these rubber feet. It's, it's all loose uh, that's in order to uh, stop the vibration of the mechanism to uh, yeah, travel through the desk and uh, yeah, help with the uh, soundproofing. But the rubber feet that they are, they are on have collapsed a bit, they've degraded. So uh, this one is in pretty good condition, but yeah, this one is completely collapsed. So the whole mechanism is really tilted at the moment. And uh, yeah, this, the mechanism now rests directly on this screw on the desk. So all the uh, mitigation of the vibrations is uh, lost. This machine was probably first made in the late 1950s. It's a bit hard to, to know for sure. But uh, yeah, I think this was the last um, hand-driven manual machine that uh, Odner made. So it was in production until the early 1970s. That's when Odner uh, folded. Odner was part of the Facet group and they, uh, yeah, they completely uh, uh, collapsed when, uh, yeah, when electronic uh, pocket calculators were uh, introduced. In 1972 or 3, it was uh, bought by Electrolux. So that was the Odner adding machine model H11C7. Thank you for watching.